Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion. Today I want to show you my new template, it's called the 3D Particles Logo Explosion. And as you probably already realized, I also used it to create the intro for this tutorial. So now I want to show you how to customize this very easily and quickly. The first thing we have to do is to import the logo, therefore we move to our Your Logo composition and just choose File and Import File. And I will just take my Graphic in Motion logo, press OK and put it on top of my placeholders. I can disable them now or delete them. Now I just press S to scale it and I will just scale it approximately this size. I can also use my placeholders to have some kind of an orientation. So scale it to approximately the same size. And now I will zoom in a little bit to line it up. It's important that the logo is above this line here because this line represents the floor layer in the main composition. I will show you in a few moments. And we want to be sure that our logo is above this floor. So now it sits perfectly. And now I go to my main composition and you see that here we just try to position it right above the floor. And now I can move forward in the timeline and I will see that the particles take over the colors from my logo and they are exploding in a nice way. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to customize the end title. And therefore I just move to the end title composition and I double click this text layer and I will just enter my web address here, which is www.graphic in motion.com so if you want to see my templates and get some nice inspirations then just visit my homepage there you can find all the templates and the blog with a lot of nice stuff and of course you can change the font and the size and the style and whatever you want I will just leave it for now with this and I will move to my main composition to check out the final result and it looks pretty cool. And now I will show you how you can change the background color. So, so maybe you don't want to have it in this, in this bright color. Maybe you want to use a color from your logo or something darker. I will just show you how to do that. Therefore, you just move down to the bottom here and here you see the peachy light composition and we just open this up by double clicking. And now we see that we have just a normal ramp on this layer and we can change the colors here. If you want to take over colors from your logo, best way to do it is just to enter the main comp and choose a frame where you can see your logo, then just lock it here, move back to our PG light comp and in the effect controls panel, we can now edit our colors. We take the start color, let's say we take this color from the logo and also the end color. And you see that it really looks horrible, so we have to adjust this. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Let's say maybe like this. And here we make it a little bit darker. A little bit colored like this. Um, this looks definitely a little bit better. And now we have a warm look. The next thing you can do is you go back to the main composition and you can also change the color of the floor texture. The texture just creates some kind of a nice look on the floor and it's tinted so it's more or less grayish. So you can also just, you know, take the color from the map white 2 color picker and choose something which is similar to the background. Uh, now this is a little bit too dark. You just have to play around a little bit to find the look that you are searching for. For me, I think this is pretty cool. And I'm finished with the visual customization. Another thing you probably want to do is that you want to use some audio. I provided one audio file with this template already. And when you move down here in the main composition, you can see that there is this sound effects layer. And when you press LL, you can see the waveform and you see that there are sound effects already in this composition. And this is a swish sound when the logo comes in. Then we have an explosion sound when the logo explodes into the particles. Then we have a sound when the particles hit the ground. You know, it's kind of a, 
a tackling sound. And in the end, we have a kind of a sing sound when this title flies in. These sounds are already in the template and are included in the download. But if you want to add some additional music, like I did in my preview video and in the intro, it's of course possible. If you decide to use the same music that I used, and this is the Pulse logo audio from Audio Jungle, you see you can find it through the descriptions of the template and I also will put the link in the download. If you want to use this audio, I already created a pre-composition here because I lined it up in a special way so that the rhythm and everything really fits together. And now I will just show you how to import this sound. Remember, if you use some other sound or some other music, you do not have to use this Pulse Logo audio composition. You just can drop it in and line it up by yourself, you know. But if you want to use this one, it's probably the best way to just put it in my precomp. So what you want to do is you import your audio and now open up the Pulse Logo Audio here composition. Now let's move our cursor here to the beginning of the timeline and just drag in our Pulse Logo Audio so that it really starts at frame zero. Now we go back to our main comp and you see that I just lined it up a little bit different so you don't have to play around here. Now everything is perfect and will exactly sound like in my preview and in the intro for this tutorial. Well, that's it. If you have any more questions, you know, feel free to write me a mail or a message through my video have profile or through my homepage. I hope you like the template, create some nice animations with it, have fun, and I would be really glad to see you soon. Bye.